Hello again everyone, uh, this is the uh, out-of-box review on the uh, Corsair F4U-4. Um, it is a 148 uh, scale model kit, scale level 2, and it's made by Ravel. Uh, we'll just kind of go over the outside of the box uh, a little bit. Um, on the side here you can see that uh, we have a paint guide for it, and we'll get into that a little bit later uh, when we kind of show off the instructions um, on the side of the box here you can see uh, a finished uh, product here of the Corsair um, in its decal forms and uh, we turn around again um, now this kind of shows a, a, a picture of uh, the Corsair with one of its uh, wings in the retractable mode uh, and uh, as far as the features uh, of the aircraft, the length is going to be 8 inches, wingspan is going to be a total of 10 and a half inches. There are a total of 70 parts in this kit, and it is molded in light gray. And the decals themselves are the water slide type. And uh, so there you go. Uh, let's go ahead and get into the box and see what we got. Okay, set this off to the side. <clears throat> uh, first of all we have our usual Revell uh, instruction sheet uh, nicely done up. It's in black and white um, and of course in the front uh, it does give you a little bit of a history of the uh, Corsair itself. Uh, it was a single seated Navy fighter uh, plane and it was the last propeller driven fighter made in the United States. Um, the Corsair had an inverted gull wing shape that was designed for naval carrier operations uh, but was flown uh, from many of the Pacific Theater airstrips by the Marine Corps pilots and enjoyed a distinguished post-war combat career in Korea as well. Uh, the actual kit itself has uh, folding wings, retractable landing gears and doors and it does give you an option for the armament which includes the three external drop tanks two of them are a thousand pound bombs and uh, we have eight underwing rockets and uh, of course the decals themselves include the VMF-214 Black Sheep Squadron as well as they gave you two other choices which is the USS Sicily in 1951 and the uh, VMA-332 USS Morocco 1953. Um, <clears throat> as you can see here again we have the uh, the actual uh, paint guide gives you uh, all of your uh, colors if you want to paint it like the uh, cover art on the box. And what I do like about the uh, Ravel and their instructions it does break down the parts list and gives you the part number as well as the part name so you can uh, basically familiarize yourself with uh, all the components that uh, uh, incorporate into the uh, Corsair itself. Um, basically uh, it gives you a nice little exploded view of the uh, instructions. Uh, first page of course is the uh, step one. Basically is the uh, putting together the seat, uh, control stick, the uh, pilot itself, uh, bulkhead, and uh, uh, going into the uh, one side of the uh, fuselage itself. Uh, two pretty much the same thing. Um, we have uh, uh, where it talks about the uh, tail uh, wheel and the tail uh, hinge to put in. Um, so as you can see here, installing the antennas. Like I said, the, the overall steps are about seven steps uh, totally. Um, I won't go through all of them, but you can see it's uh, very, uh, just by looking at the pictures, it's pretty so, well uh, self-explanatory. And uh, like I said, we got the, you know, looks good. And uh, of course on the uh, back page, the page eight and nine, this is where they give you the, uh, the two different choices of uh, uh, the decals uh, depending on what you want to put on the plane itself. Um, 
So there you go. There's the one side there. And then we have the back side where it also gives you the uh, Black Sheep uh, Squadron uh, decal choice and the uh, USS Sicily uh, in Korea in 1951. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and, and stick with the Black Sheep Squadron um, and uh, go from there. All right. <clears throat> what we have here in the box, uh, first of all, we have our uh, nice little clear parts here. There's only two of them. Uh, one of them is the um, canopy itself, and then we have the um, windscreen. Uh, just kind of a little known fact, uh, because this is the number four variant on this particular aircraft. One of the things they did change was the uh, bulletproofing of the windscreen, uh, where they made it more flatter. Uh, so they take out the optical uh, distortion for the pilots. Um, so I kind of help benefit them a little bit better. And I'm going to keep it in the bag for right now just to keep from it getting all scratched up. Uh, there's actually uh, two uh, plastic bags of uh, trees here. Uh, we'll pull the first one out here. <clears throat> and uh, we'll kind of go through this. <clears throat> Sorry. Uh, another change that they've made on the course here uh, was the uh, propeller. Um, there's actually four blades as you can see here on the uh, propeller where the uh, previous uh, variants only had a three uh, blade uh, propeller. Um, so that was another change there and uh, also they changed the cowling of this uh, number four variant as well. Uh, I'll show you that later. <clears throat> but uh, as you can see here um, you know, we have our typical, you know, the wheels, and uh, these are the uh, six uh, rockets that fit underneath the uh, the wings themselves. And then we have our uh, two uh, bombs here. Uh, and uh, then, of course, here we have our instrument panel as well. And uh, these are actually uh, uh, clips that go as part of the uh, landing gear struts. Um, and of course, uh, this this all here is all landing gear, uh, you know, uh, parts themselves. This is the petit, petit tube and the uh, uh, control stick. And then, of course, we have our our seat that goes in the cockpit seat there. Uh, nicely detailed. It's got a little bit of some detail on either side for the uh, uh, instruments and stuff like that. And uh, then we have our, we'll turn it around, we have our, our bulkhead and we have our two antennas and these are our uh, hinges for the wings and of course then we have our pilot uh, which is nicely uh, detailed and we'll paint that up real nice uh, before we put them in the cockpit. Uh, these are the uh, bomb fins and uh, of course then we have our tail wheel uh, and that's pretty much it for uh, this uh, uh, tree sprue uh, for the parts and uh, the next we have the uh, second set here uh, we'll go ahead and pull that out and uh, take a look at it <clears throat> as you can see here we have our uh, right and left uh, fuselage um, very nicely detailed. I don't know if the camera can pick up on that or not, but uh, it is there. And like I said, the uh, uh, the cowling uh, was uh, changed on this plane as well. Um, <clears throat> we also have some of the uh, more uh, hinges for the wings, so hopefully this will indicate that it will be folding up uh, for your option there. Uh, we have the gear doors uh, here on both sides another set of gear doors and uh, these are probably optional uh, for the plane as well uh, optional parts if you choose to uh, incorporate that into the course here as well all right so that's there <coughs> and uh, next we have our some more parts this actually has a total of three uh, trees in them 
Uh, we have our uh, drop tank for uh, the center part of the underbelly of the uh, Corsair. Uh, more uh, uh, gear doors and uh, this is actually the center uh, uh, underside wing of the uh, Corsair and then these are some more wing tanks that fit underneath the uh, aircraft and of course we have our stabilizer as well and then of course this is our our uh, new cowling for the number four variant um, so there's that and of course then this basically uh, the last of the parts here oops is the uh, left and right side of the uh, of the wings uh, of course that's the inside and here's the outside take a look at that nicely detailed uh, it is some fixed flaps in here uh, so they don't you know go up and down but uh, you can see all the nice uh, detailed design hopefully you can pick that up on the camera uh, of course this is the underside uh, where the uh, rockets are glued on either side of the uh, aircraft and then of course we have our uh, wing inlets uh, one for each side of the wings uh, there's that one there and that one there so there's that and then uh, finally we have the decals uh, these are water slide decals and uh, as you can see here's the uh, one of the of the instrument panel and of course this is going to be the marines and uh, like I say very nicely detailed uh, crisp looking I shouldn't have any problems uh, putting this on the uh, on the plane itself uh, and like I said I'm going to be focused on uh, these two right here the VMF-214 uh, Marines uh, so there you go so like I said overall <clears throat> the kit looks pretty nice uh, nice and clean uh, I didn't see really any kind of flash uh, on the uh, kit itself so, uh, like I said, we're going to get, go ahead and get started on this, and uh, it should be a fun build, and uh, looking forward to it. So there you have it. There's the out-of-box review. Uh, stay tuned, and we'll, uh, we'll get uh, back in touch with you. Thanks for uh, watching and subscribing, and catch you later. Have a nice day. Bye.